morning everybody how are you doing so it is the day of the operation it is hmm, but all the time it's probably close to eight o'clock and I'm in my pre-operation attire trying to keep the panic from rising but I'm sure I'll be okay I'm sure everything will be fine I've got the same many cities I had from before so that's really good and I'm first on the list so uh, yeah I was kind of hoping I'd have a little bit of time to just kind of um, I don't know sit with it but I guess the best thing is just to go straight in so you don't have too much time to think and panic like I did last time so this is the before and I will catch up with you on the other side have a wonderful day see you then Hi again, I just, just recorded an entire segment and realised that the sound was off. Absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, so let me just give you an update to what's happening. My surgery has been bumped back to about an hour or so. The reason being is I've contracted MRSA as a result of the wound I have. So um, on the 1st of March, a swab was taken of the area because the nurse who's looking at it says so she's a bit concerned that it's still exuding, the stuff is exuding. And so she took a swab just as be on the safe side and I completely forgot that she'd done it she sent it off and on it was Friday just gone I was getting ready to go to my um, church's 25th anniversary and then I got a text message from the surgery saying that the swab had come back saying that it's got MRSA in it so I needed to start immediately on antibiotics and so forth so um, because it can be contagious especially to people whose um, systems have a low immune system or who might have cuts or sores or whatever, I kind of had to isolate myself for three days. So I've done that. But from, on, from the Friday, I was just taking antibiotics. Then they put me on what they call a decolonization regime, which is like I have to scrub myself from top to bottom with a surgical strength um, liquid, as well as line my nostrils with a cream. So this is the stuff I had to line my nostrils with. You can't read it really yeah so there was that and then this is the scrub that I had to use apparently it's known to kill all known lurgies dead so that's that one I had to even wash my hair with it so hence my hair looks like crazy so those are what that's what I had to be doing and um, my surgeries got bumped back because they want to make sure, number one, that the person operate, well after they operate on the first person, they can completely clean out the area. Then after my surgery, they're gonna to have to scrub it even more to make sure there's no chance of cross-contamination. So because the first surgery is quite quick, be pretty much an in and out job, but then they can clean everything. But with my surgery is gonna be a lot more intense, probably about three or so hours. And then after that, I need to make sure they really thoroughly scrub it down again. So. They just want to make sure that I'm going to be in the most sterile environment possible and then the person coming after me will also be in the most sterile environment possible. So there's no chance of cross-contamination. So I've been bumped back to second. I'd kind of psyched myself up to get ready to go first, but not quite. So I feel like I've been given a bit of a reprieve. Um, it's got, you know, I'm fooling myself because I'm going to end up going up there anyway. But yeah, that's just where it's at at the moment. So I will see you on the other side with an update. I suspect I'll be staying in overnight. I suspect I will be. But I, once I know for sure, I'll update you on my vlog. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll catch you on the other side. Oh. It's 10.40 a.m. and I still have not been up to surgery. They, for some reason, slipped someone else in before me as well. So that's two people I've had before me. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. But um, yeah, still here waiting. Just reading my book. Let me see if I can show it to you. The Hallelujah Diet. And um, this guy, let me see, George Malkmus. He talks about his own journey. Um, he had colon cancer. And he shares his own journey as to how he changed his diet and his lifestyle and what that did for him as a result. So I'm just having a look through it. I did start reading it some time ago actually, but I never followed through. So maybe this is, a, this is a, kind of like a wake up call for me to read it again. So I just happened to find it again yesterday when I was clearing out my room. Just happened to find it. I was thinking, where will I find this book? So I can't remember where I put it. And lo and behold, it's very easy to lay my hands on. So just having a quick read of that. Well, hardly a quick read, but just like reading that until they call me up. So yeah, still here, still waiting. And I'll catch you again. Bye. Good morning everybody, how are you doing? 
So today is the day after surgery. Today is Thursday. I was trying to vlog yesterday after surgery, but I was so sick I couldn't do it at all. So I thought I'd just like wait until today, went until the nausea passed, and then I would speak to you. So apparently everything went well with the surgery. I'm still waiting for my um, surgeon to come up and tell me exactly how everything went. Um, so far, from the little bit I've been able to see in the mirror, it's covered up really, really well. Considering the size of the um, excision, she's managed to cover up really, really well. They did what they call a flap, so I was right. They couldn't do the um, skin graft, because otherwise it'd leave a huge dent in the area, and that area needed to be supported by muscle, which I needed to push up from my previous surgery, and then cover it with the skin. So that's done. So, so far it looks really good, so as far as I can see. But I'll wait for her to come up and tell me exactly um, what went on and everything. Um, yeah, day two in the hospital. I feel much, 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 much better. Yesterday was, oh my goodness. I still I don't know how people can come in for cosmetic surgery for really trivial things. That, that nausea kicked my butt, seriously. I didn't eat a thing yesterday. From, actually, I didn't eat anything from the Tuesday night until, up till now, I haven't eaten anything. Because yesterday, hello? Oh, that's the wind because I, I couldn't eat anything yesterday because I was so, so, so sick. Right up until I went to bed, I couldn't, I couldn't eat anything. Even when I was in the recovery room, first of all, before I came up to the ward, I heard someone talking about food and that was churning my stomach like crazy. So hopefully everything's well today and I'll be able to eat. Um, they were talking about me possibly going back either today or tomorrow. I think today's a bit too soon personally, but well, I'll see because I seem to be doing really well. So it's either going to be today and tomorrow. Now, first of all, I said it might, I might definitely stay overnight. Then the guy who has uh, been attended to me say it might be until Friday. When the surgeon comes up, she'll tell me exactly what needs to be done. So. so I've got my own room, not because I'm fancy, but because when I came in here, I had MRSA. So they want to make sure, as I've got an open wound, that if anybody on the ward has it, I'm not infected by it. So I have my own room. So... There's the front door that leads onto the ward, so you come in. And this is my, my bed, no, not my bed, my side wall, I, I could put my little bits and bobs on it. Thank you Auntie Janet for the water you got me, really appreciate that. So this is the mirror, hi. This is the view from the window. At night it was really nice, if I'm here tonight, I'll do a little shot, we can see what it's like at night when all the lights are on, it's really nice. Here's the shower and washroom. Just very simple. We've got the toilet there. Yeah, so... Pretty basic and, comp and compact, but you don't really need anything much more, really. So there's that. <clears throat> and this thing here is like when I'm getting pain meds or whatever, they monitor it through this machine right here. So far, I haven't needed any this morning, which is a good sign. And um, I'm not really a fan of taking medication anyway. That's my bed. And these are my fancy socks. The, the green socks are anti-clotting socks and the red socks are just like to stop you slipping around as you're walking because I, I think they prefer in the beginning you didn't have any like slippers or whatever on your feet. Also as I was saying, this tube right here is stitched into my side. So they, um, it's like a draining thing. So if you have any excess fluid, they want to get, they want to get excess fluid out, the bad blood out and other stuff. Just like to make sure that the area doesn't get infected. Okay, so I just had a bowl of cornflakes. Um, still a bit hungry though, but yeah, never mind. So yeah. Um, but overall, doing really well. Really grateful that the surgery's over. I want to thank everybody who prayed for me, who's been encouraging me, who's been sending me WhatsApps and texts. I really, really, really appreciated it. The experience this time is so different from last time. You remember I said, um, Last time when I was in the anaesthetic room waiting to go in, I was bawling my eyes out. This time, no such thing. And actually, they kept me waiting a lot longer this time than they did before. Because um, I last time I went in about 20 past 11, having got here at 6 o'clock. Well, this time I got here just 7 o'clock. 
and I was supposed to be first on the list, but because they wanted to um, deal with the whole MRSA issue, they actually bumped me back down to third. So two people went ahead of me. Hello. They actually put two people ahead of me. So I actually didn't end up going in until about midday. But there was no panic rising. There, my mind wasn't going crazy, thinking about all the things that could go wrong. Everything went smoothly. I mean, yeah, when I got into the room, I was like, oh. You know, it's just a thought of, of um, I don't know what it is, just going under, just being under anaesthetic and losing consciousness. I think that's what it is, the fear of losing consciousness. And the nurse said, oh, don't worry, it's okay, don't worry. And the anaes there's main anaesthetologist, anaes anyway. The main guy who deals with anaesthetics, who's, I think that's his department, he very kindly said, you know, it's very easy to say to calm down, but it's not easy to do, basically. So I was really appreciative of him saying that because he really understood, do you know what I mean? You know you're in good hands, but there's just something about being put unconscious that is just really quite nerve wracking. So again, I've had a great team of people around me. They've been really kind, really understanding, and I can't complain. I really can't complain. My, these two fingers of my hand, were numb yesterday, but they feel a lot better now. I think it's just because of, well, I think it had to do with either anaesthetic or something, but they're feeling almost back to normal. I said like 98% back to normal, which is pretty good. Um, up the top right, like I said, it feels really tight. So I feel like I had to like pull the skin to make, to do all the things that need to do and like sew the area up and whatever. So it feels quite tight. So um, I can't really, I mean, I can move my hand around like that, but I definitely, definitely can't lift my arm up. Definitely can't do that right now. So um, I'll just wait for her to come and tell me what the sitch is and what's going down. The area of my back is now numb. And the guy did say that uh, because I've had to cut through nerve endings, which there's thousands, you can't see them all. So the chances are you will, the area will be numb pretty much permanently unless some of the numbness is due to the anaesthetic. Where it's not due to the anaesthetic, then those areas will be permanently numb. Again, it's just one of those things, isn't it? So that's what's happening. But overall, considering what I was like yesterday after surgery, I feel 100% better. You, you just can't compare the two. You cannot compare the two. There's one thing I can't stand is being sick. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, if I could never be physically sick again in my life, I'd take it because I hate throwing up. But now that's gone, thank goodness. And I'm feeling good. So I hope you're all doing really well today. And um, I will post again if there's any updates or whatever. So I'll see you again. Hi guys. So I've just been told that I'm going to be discharged today. Um, they're happy with this, that and the other. And I had my questions and whatever. I said they're happy that I'm ready to be discharged today. So um, that should be within the next couple of hours, I think. So yeah, um, just keep on, again, my arm feel, I'm sitting in the chair as opposed to the bed because my arm feels a bit tight and that's the side that they did the operation on. Um, I'm gonna keep an eye on it. They said I don't need to go to my GP surgery to get the um, dressing changed. They're happy to see me here within 48 hours and then take it from there. So yeah, I mean, the flap looks good. The, the reconstruction, I must say, does look good. I mean, considering it's such a huge, gaping, open wound, I couldn't even begin to fathom how they're going to close that. So the fact that they've done it, I must give them props for that. But um, yeah, so I'm going to be discharged today and I will pick up with you, yeah, maybe later on today when I get home. Okay, so it's lunchtime and um, I already started eating and forgot to show you. So I'm, I'm going to show you, I've, I've touched it already, but I'm just going to show you what it is I'm having. So I'm having a chicken pie with, bring it over, a chicken pie with mixed veg and potatoes. And for dessert, I'm just gonna have the apple over there. I wish they had some apple crumble or something, but they don't. It was just semolina, um, fresh fruit, and one other thing that I couldn't eat. So yeah, having that. So bon appetit to me. Okay, so guys, I'm on my way back home now. So I was just discharged today. Um, yeah, everything went well. So I was discharged with the provider that needs to be back in two days time to check on the dressings. Just got to take my antibiotics and all things being equal, I should be fine. So like I say, thank you for all your good wishes and all your prayers and thoughts. It really meant a lot. So I'm back now. So yeah, it's got to look at maybe like a lifestyle change, a diet change to try and prevent these sorts of things from happening again. But I'm just thankful, you know, I I'm walking out alive and as healthy as possibly can be. So it's been a really, really, um, not eye-opening, but it's given me another cause to be grateful, which I am. 
So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again on the next vlog. Bye.